So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from a very early morning in Chiang Rai City, Northern Thailand. The amazing Chiang Rai City. And we've got another action packed day today. It's about 6.45 now. And we're gonna head off to, to the temples today. First we're gonna, well, I'm gonna show you my digs first where I'm staying here. Then we're gonna go to the market. And then we're gonna go and see the blue and the white temple so that's what the plan is today guys so first where am i staying this is where i'm staying it's called ban nook anong and it's towards the north of chiang rai city and you got rooms um each side just small little rooms lit i'm at the top right at the end so i'm going to show you in a minute i'll just show you the lobby bit you can get your free coffees here, yeah, look. And you've got the guy in the reception. You can buy your snacks and everything. Get free toast again. Same as the payout place. You can come here and chill. And, yeah, it's a very quiet road. I still don't know my way back. I still need the map to get to get back here because there's so many like little turns and little roads you got to go down to get into town. But I'm happy here, man. It's a good... It's a good choice. So I'm going to show you my room. Ban Nook Anong Hotel. I'll just show you this side. Look, there's more, more rooms out, out there as well. Each side. So I got a bit of a Bobby Dazzler of a room, man. I always like my end rooms and I've, I've got a nice end room. So I'm up the top. Still a bit early, so don't want to wake, don't want to wake people up. Hey, how's about this? So I found this place online. People was talking about it, a cheap, nice place to stay. So I booked it. I got this guy, look, getting down some mangoes. I think he's getting down, hello. <laughs> getting some mangoes down. This is me guys, right on the end, look, three, two, one. I got the superior room, the one with the one with the aircon, so I'm right on the inlet, right next to the wires, man. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what ten dollars a night gets you in this place. This is my digs, man. Yes, mate. I'm well happy in this room. Loving this room, actually. Had a nice kip in there. See, look down the end, overlooking. This is my room, people. Nice TV, nice storage lit, and I got my desk. Man, I got gear everywhere, because I've done so many vlogs, and I'm like trying to keep all, keep it all on, on hard drive, you know, and keep all up to date with it. I ain't even started on any of these vlogs yet. I'm just out every day. So what you rank it, um, what do you think? It's all right, isn't it? And yeah, this window's overlooking the other side, which isn't too bad, look. Nobody can really look over here. And this is, this is my bathroom. Happy days, man. The shower's a bit, you know, it goes all over the bog. <laughs> Just covers the bog as soon as you put the shower on. But it's all good, man. I'm happy, $10 a night, this place is. You can get cheaper as well. The cheaper ones come without the air con. I can come out on the end. No one bothering me this side. And yeah, little quiet, little quiet soy roads like this. I'm gonna leave this place in the description, guys, because yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good deal. You're a little bit out of, well, not. You're about two kilometers away from the Golden Clock Tower, which you would need a motorbike here for sure. Um, it would be a bit of a walk, but if you got transport. Or well, you're just here for a couple of days and you can get into town. This place is a Bobby Dazzler. So I'm going to get sorted and we're going to head to the morning market. See who's about, see who we can see and we'll take it from there. So the first stop of today is the local market. We're going to have a quick look around and I'm going to show you. It's called Cad Luang Market. It's about 7.30 now. And I thought we'd just have a quick stop here. Let you have a look. I used to come here and get all my fruit. And 
got the clock in the middle there. Hello, sir. Hello. This is Cat Luang. Cat Luang Market. Swadi Cap. Swadi Cap. You get everything you'd ever need it. So it goes around like this. Got the famous tower there, look. That's how you know you're at the market. So we're gonna have a quick look. Maybe we'll find find something. You never know, do ya? See, it gets busier up here. It is a Saturday morning as well. So it's, it's crazy. I, I was nearly in an accident already, man. 15 baht, papaya. Hello, Swadi Cap. <laughs> this lady does the bananas, see that. Absolutely, Bobby does love a bargain. So this is just north of the clock tower, guys. Just a couple of minutes walk. You could walk here from the clock tower. So it's sort of like your um your Mwang Mai market in Chiang Mai. This is the equivalent in um, Chiang Rai. Goes up here as well, look. So it's always nice. I like to show the morning markets wherever I go. See a few people. Hello, so Adi Cap. What does she do there? She puts, she grates it. Yeah, grating machine, right? This lady chopping them up. So we're gonna walk down. Early morning, best time. Anywhere I go, this is the best time I like to get out. Anything after eight o'clock, it goes downhill. <laughs> and it's, yes, yeah, it's nice and cool. It's not, it's not so hot in Chiang Mai, I don't think. It's got a nice breeze here at the minute. See, it goes inside like your Warra Rot. Again, same. You can walk in. Might have a look in there in a bit just to see what they got. Got some grapes, 140 baht. Ah, it's bringing back memories, man. See, it only goes down to about here. It's not, it's not massive, but it sells everything you would ever need. Hello, Miss. Sabadi Mai. How are you today? Good. So we're gonna have a walk inside the market here, just to have a quick look around. Got some more grapes there, 140. 25 baht mangoes. Mango steam's coming down in price, look. See sip now, see sip. There you go, look. Got the flies on it as well, and all look. Wouldn't like to buy that one, would you? Wouldn't like to buy them, I don't think. This is the only problem with the meat in it. There's my favorite, chicken feet. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance not a chance right so we're not going to walk all the way down so what cap so buddy my right that's cap luang market in a nutshell again in a nutshell what i will say about chang rai is they got better clothes here than chang mai you can get all your knockoffs here in chang mai they don't hardly do anything they do the sunglasses in Chiang Mai, but yeah, you can get you know, all your hats and your t-shirts more fakes, which is a bit weird. I'm not sure if it's like monitored more in Chiang Mai or... Yeah, you can, I don't think you can find much um, fake stuff in Chiang Mai, really. Look at it. It's not as quiet as what I thought it used to be. I suppose over the years, towns and cities grow, don't they? <laughs> Reproducing, man. Scout the road here, man, in the middle of the road. So now the first stop, well, the second stop, this was the first stop of the day. We're going to go to the Blue Temple. And that's a temple I've never been to before. They were still building it when I was here. And it's not too far, so we're going to start off with a blue temple. 
and then we're going to go to the White Temple, which is about 20 minutes out of town. So I'm going to get on my ones and twos, and I will see you at the Blue Temple in a jiffy. Touch down the Blue Temple in Chiang Rai. So this is the first time I've ever been here and it's basically it's in the town it's just a couple of kilometers outside of the center there we're not going to hang about too long oh, could have parked inside could have parked inside man oh well right then what are we thinking it's like the hot spring on the way to Payao Yeah, so it's a nice big open open place. I got a bit of a write up. Now I'm gonna tell you. And we're gonna have a walk around the outside first before I before I have a walk in. It's definitely different, isn't it? Different colour. Blue and gold. Looks good, doesn't it? The old blue and gold. Gonna see what's down the back here. Gonna get, gonna get a shot of all of it. It's definitely got that white temple um sort of feel to it. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Nice at the back there. They had to come and see it. This is one place I wanted to see. It's just the only one that I've not been. We've got a bit of sunshine today, people. It's just trying to come through. But I think we've got a bit of rain in the air as well. I don't think it's going to be sunny like any day now for... Not like pure sunny. You do... Every year it's a bit different. Some rainy seasons are, you just get a little bit of rain and some seasons are like this where it's just cloud and it doesn't really rain. And we're gonna do a bit of our Google, Google info on the Blue Temple. So the Blue Temple is immediately recognizable for its brilliant shade of rich sapphire. The temple walls, roof and surrounding statues are all covered in this gorgeous hue. An unusual decorative choice in a country where most temples are made of gold. The colour is symbolically associated with purity, wisdom and the lack of materialism that Buddhists aspire to. Ah, there you go. The temple is a fascinating fusion of traditional Buddhist values and classic Thai architecture with extreme design choices. This modernism makes sense. The Blue Temple was designed by Putta Kab Kao, a student of the artist who built the eccentric White Temple. Ah, so it's not the guy that designed the White Temple, it's one of his students that designed this place. So it's not the same guy, just one of his students. The Blue Temple is known in Thai as Wat Rong Sue Ten, or Temple of the Dancing Tiger. Another ancient temple once stood here, and tigers are said to have roamed freely over these grounds. When it was abandoned nearly a century ago, the Blue Temple, as it exists today, is brand new by comparison. The local village decided to rebuild the temple in 1996 and began the project in 2005. Construction was officially completed of the Blue Temple in 2016. But the Blue Temple is still considered a work in progress. Good bit of info for you, right? Up here for thinking, down here for dancing. So I'm gonna have a look inside. Gotta check it out. 
mean there's anything different inside. So we're gonna have to take the shoes off. We at the Blue Temple, man. Chang Rai, baby. Please dress politely. Hats, oh, I've got to take the hat off. This guy ain't, he ain't read the um, criteria, is he? Oh, he has, look, he took it off. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, it is a lot different. They look amazing in blue, don't they? It's definitely blue and gold. Looks incredible. Welcome to Wat Rong Kun, otherwise known as the famous White Temple in Chiang Rai, Northern Thailand. So we are about 25 minutes south of Chiang Rai on the road back to Payao. So it's a little drive out here, it's not too bad though. And we're going to take a look. I've not been here for seven years. And it's not too busy for a Saturday morning. I thought there'd be a lot more people here already. It started raining a minute ago, so we got the got like the British weather. It would have been nicer having it all lit up with the sunshine. But I think most of this trip is gonna be overcast and rainy. But it makes a change, eh? Are they charging for it now? Let's have a look. I think it's still free. So this chap here, look, you can have your... Oh, you want to go? <laughs> you can um, have your photo with this chap. What's the deal here now then? So you've got to dress politely, of course. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's still free. 100 baht. Okay, so it's 100 baht now, is it? True, June must be supervised by parent wheelchairs. Dress politely, no food or drinks allowed, no pets, no smoking. Um, so this guy here, he is the creator. This cardboard cutout here, look. He's the guy that designed it all. He's lit, happy as Larry, isn't he? Yes, none of this was here last time. Last time I was here. Right, so it's a hundred baht now. Okay. Cup and cap. Thank you. So it's all changed since I was here. You can't grumble, £2.50. So yeah, I remember this. This is awesome. This front front passage here. With all the hands coming up, look. Awesome. Let's get in anyway. <laughs> Let's get in. So yep, it's beautiful. It's good to be back. I said I wasn't doing any temple videos, didn't I, in this, in this series. But Chiang Rai temples are, are special. They're not like other temples. So you're not allowed to take pictures inside the temple. So I've not been able to show you inside, which is out of respect. That's cool. But you can take pictures outside.
It's beautiful, right? Beautiful. So we're gonna walk around here, have a good look. So there's more over there now. There's more that I've not seen since last time. So a lot of it's getting repaired. I'd say it needs a lot of repairing over the years, right? I think like they've done, they've put more trim on it since I was here last. It's more sparkly than what it used to be. Just another day in paradise. Just another day at White Temple, man. <laughs> this lady doing a picture. Don't want to be photo bombing. Yeah, wishing well. Have I got one back? Right, gonna make a wish. This the dog, doggy, doggy. Just the chicken. You want the dog inside? What shall I wish for? Yeah. Are you the rabbit this year? I'm a rabbit this year. Yeah, that's the rabbit. Yeah. Okay, made me wish. The rabbit. The rabbit. Yeah. Gonna keep that one a secret. If it ever comes true, I'll let you know. So this place did used to be free, but um, of course they're going to start charging for it. And so they should. I've got no, I've got no problems paying for this place. It's worth it. The amount of effort they've put into it, look. I think 100 baht is a fair fair price. No grumbles from me. And you know I like a grumble. I like a grumble if I think something's not worth it. But a lot of work has gone into this place, big time. Right, it's gonna look, gotta look all the way around it. Now we're here, son. We're gonna look around. Okay, let's do this. Welcome to the new pad. Welcome to my crib, man. It is different, isn't it? Lovely, liking this, man. Whew. Right, let's have a look in this gaff. Please leave your food and drink here. Right, so it is like a museum so we're gonna have a quick look in here not too long not gonna mess about inside too much because it's all about the white temple really for such a big place <laughs> it was just a tiny tiny museum inside I'm sure there's more to it but basically all this place is is a museum or just some artifacts you can go go and have a look at so I think now people we're gonna have one more look around one more look around the white temple and then we'll call it a day and get back into the city so we've got quite a few tourists turning up now all loving their picture taking look Yeah, it's not 
White Temple, tell me what you think. Would you come and visit? Would you come and see it? 100 baht. And you have to pay a little bit more to go in some of the museums out the back, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful place. We'll walk down the side here in a minute. We've got the coach loads coming in by the droves. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot, isn't it? That's a beauty. So what I would say is, it's got a little bit more strict there these days. Like they stop you and if you walk out a gate, you're not allowed to walk back in. You have to go all the way around and it just seems a little bit more streamlined now. When before you could just freely walk around or, I mean, if you walk in now, you're not allowed to walk back. You have to go all the way around again. I suppose it keeps, keeps the flow of the people going in, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna check out now from the White Temple, guys. It's good to come and have a look and show, show you around a bit. So I'm gonna head back, guys, and I will see you in a jiffy at the Black House.